It's the last evening I'm hunting for about a week here in Kansas. I think. I'm not sure right now if the rest slowing down or what, but they're like on a second lockdown kind of deal right now. It's a full moon, and these big bucks aren't moving till after dark. And, uh, anyways, we're hoping for the best. We'll see what happens tonight. Um, the wind shifted a little bit to the northeast tonight, which is even better. It's been out of the north northwest. So, hopefully, things go better tonight. And we'll see. Only hope for the best. Who knows what will happen.
So what the situation is, we're going to be backing out. I'm still in stand right now, but um, where he left the field, back to my left, we uh, have him straight south, east of me right now. So almost directly down to me now, but he left the field directly between me and my vehicle. So if I walk straight out where I usually walk in, he'll probably smell me, and that could be an unbelievably bad situation. I'm going to be able to have my blood trail like Don or anything, so there's a whole bunch of hair down here, and hopefully we'll have a, a dead deer down. He's not the biggest deer in the woods, but no doubt, I mean, he's a warrior. He broke off most of his rack, and uh, I have a lot of cutting back photos of him, and I think he's down. We'll find out at least. Alright guys, well, here he is. He's, uh, yeah, as you can see, he doesn't have much for a rack on his head. We don't know what happened. I mean, it's almost like there's dried velvet on him. He's broken off some of the stuff early, it looks like. Um, but, yeah, he still has some bark and stuff on him. He's been rubbing up like crazy. He's got a big old cut right on his forehead from fighting. Probably brow tying some other bucks or something. But, this concludes my 2013 Kansas deer season. Um, it was short, but sweet. You know, I, I was filming a lot from a buddy, Ron McGuire, and uh, uh, drew on a mule deer. But, uh, you know, fortunately, it came back. Had this week alone to get done here in Kansas. I had one more week here in about a week and a half. But, you know, I just decided as soon as, if this deer came in, I was going to decide if I wanted to take him or not. I had several trail cam photos of him and everything. And really, it came down to the wire. I saw him at 50 yards, and he walked in and walked directly under me. And I just decided right then I'm going to go ahead and just take him out. Um, he's a great bu big body deer. He's going to make some great deer sticks and some summer sausage. And I'm definitely happy to get him taken to the locker. Uh, big shout out and thanks to uh, my buddy Nick, Chase, Daryl, and Ryan. You guys uh, have been awesome. Thanks for helping find him because I seriously could have done it without you guys because I had to leave. And uh, 